Ooh. Yep. I can't even get the rod out of holder. He thumped it pretty good. River Rats, we are paddling down what is quickly becoming one of my favorite rivers. Like, it's not an easy fishery, but it's a unique fishery in that you never know what you can catch. Like, you might catch nothing, you might catch a giant. And with any luck, we're gonna catch the second one. So let's go. I'm out here with Chris, and he stuck with me for pretty much three days and two nights. Um, that's part of the excitement though. It's like fisheries that are overall tough. The real trick is can you put time on them? And that's still not a guarantee, but it sure does help as far as putting fish in the boat and figuring out something that leads to putting fish in the boat. I don't know if I could be much more excited. Like the moon phase is wrong, but the time of year and the weather are very, very right. For something cool to happen and all you can really hope is for opportunities just rolled up to the first spot that i want to fish um, still got a little rigging to do well, we got some bluegills not doing so hot already i'll put out one that is doing hot Yeah, bait's gonna definitely be a concern at some point in time. Um, I don't know when that point in time is, but it's it's gonna happen. Well, I was gonna say it's gonna depend on snags, and that was instantly in a snag. Yeah, he's probably still on there. We'll let him sit right there, see what happens. Probably nothing after that, but we'll let it ride and find out. Five casualties already on the bluegill front. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come, but it is what it is. I did bring a net, so we have the ability to catch more bait. Um, although river bait is tougher to keep alive usually than bluegills. That bluegill's pretty excited. I like that. Yeah, I think we got three miles to go, so can't spend a ton of time at any one spot. Not that it's usually beneficial anyway. Fished a few more spots and didn't catch anything, but that's okay. I, I definitely need to get to paddling, quit messing around. Got, I think, two miles, two and a half miles to go till we get to where I want to set up camp. And we have plenty of time to get there, assuming that I don't, you know, see something that I want to fish. I kind of have those, ooh, a piece of candy moments when I float by something that looks good. But I'll do my best and keep paddling. We paddled past some really, really good looking stuff and it, and it hurt me not to stop and fish it, but I know it's my own fault. Should have got moving on everything earlier. And that's the nature of the beast. But the good news is we have all night to fish tonight. We got plenty of time tomorrow to really pick stuff apart. And we're also gonna get to the spot we wanna camp at a decent time and be able to put up our tents and stuff and maybe even look for some firewood and all that good stuff. So I feel good about it from that standpoint. All right, we are home for the evening. I uh, got a few rods out. Got me a fork stick. I also got to go get some firewood. I'm on a little island thingy. And there's a little bit of firewood, but not much. But over there, there's a lot more. So. I'm gonna take the kayak over there and, and go get some. I 
Kind of feel like a cargo ship, Chris. My objective is firewood. See a little bit, not a lot of bit, but a little bit. Plenty of little minners. Oh yeah, there's some decent firewood. Just scattered stuff, which is just fine. I have me a little saw, but I don't think that's gonna be necessary. Well, maybe. It's a few bigger chunks. Perks of having a big fat kayak. You can haul plenty of firewood. A little high centered. A little nose heavy. <laughs> we'll make it work. I got us some firewood, Chris. It's very satisfying. <laughs> Chris has been slaving over a hot stove, but this is the end result and it looks pretty phenomenal. Your culinary ability kind of makes me feel a little bad about myself. Not real, real bad, but just a little bad. I did get all the lines set, so I did carry my weight a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna suck, dude. Have you made these before? Yeah, I've never made them on a riverbank before. You sure? Well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna turn the light off and eat this before I get swallowed by bugs. No, oh, don't fall, Chris. Yeah, you've done this before. <laughs> hmm. Is he on there? Had several bites that amounted to no fish. And this one is currently on. I think we, is this a, just a dinosaur of a gar? No, I see a catfish mouth. Oh, there he is. Chan? It's just a big old Chan. Wow, that's a big Chan. Wow. Not what I'm fishing for, but I'll take you. Yeah. More flathead fishing, blue cat fishing. Ugh. Definitely wouldn't think about Chan's, but that's a bruiser. Not even a little mad about him. Never heard a clicker. I got him set up with circle hook style. Uh, Woke up and had to pee and still have to pee. Then uh, just heard the kayak rattling around and looked, walked over and Rod was bending. There. Back you go, amigo. Okay. 
See you, bud. All right, now I'm gonna go pee and toss another one out. No more action other than that channel cat. I'm uh, really not a fan of the full moon, at least for night fishing, at least this time of year. But you go fishing when you can. I got time and it worked out for Chris and I to hit the river, so we're on the river. We do uh, have coffee, plenty of coffee. We got that taken care of. And uh, got 10 miles ahead of us. Hopefully a fishy 10 miles, but we'll see. We covered plenty of ground, which is nice. Good start to the day. There was a lot of dead water, so it's nice to get that out of the way. And here's our first area we're gonna pick apart, probably hit two or three different spots on it. Got some white bass for starters, which I really like when it's hot out. Because the catfish generally seem to like it when it's hot out. Must not have tied off as well as I originally thought. Well, it's like two feet deep there. I don't know, like I said, we'll give it five minutes and see what happens. Connected. Yep. Not a small one. <laughs> yep, that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. <sighs> that got my heart thumped. <laughs> They're still here, Chris. Just the ferocity and how they hit it is impressive. Okay. We go. That's nice. Easy champ. And he just halfway spun the kayak around. <laughs> that part gets me as jacked up as anything. That was awesome. I do like these long skinny ones the best because they fight the best. And he fought like a boss. Yeah, nice fish. Oh, catching them out of a floating piece of plastic just enhances the situation even more. But bye. Thanks for playing. Wonder if there's another one here. I'm gonna reel this one in and cast the same spot. I don't know. That one's in a log. 
All right, I think we're out of the log, I think. But yeah, I'll let that sit there for a few more minutes to see if there's a second. Oh, just the way they pound a bait is awesome. Flads are definitely my favorite, but the more I fish for blue cats, the more fun it is. When you can get them out of a small river in a kayak, it's enhanced even more. I suppose I should finish my text. The balancing act with kayak fishing on rivers is you have to like manage your time because like we have a destination in mind where we're going to camp at but uh, you know you only have so much time to get there so you can't just fish and fish and fish if you want to get to where you're going going you could pick a closer destination but I like to see a lot of water and I enjoy the paddling aspect of it too not just the fishing so I try to be purposeful on where I stop and we went like two and a half miles and this is where we ended up first spot of the day five minutes in bang got a nice one hopefully that continues for the rest of the trip that was pretty awesome I think we'll probably hit two more spots on here. I'm trying to remember. Now we'll come down here and fish this. Hopefully I can get set up right. Set up the way I think I can get set up. There's probably fish right here, but I don't know how I can target them in the kayak. Well, unless I brought my <coughs> trolling motor had spot lock, but battery and a trolley motor take up a lot of room and you gotta bring camping stuff too. Not. Back, back up, like paddle backwards. Well, that works too. You just slide down and clip off right here. Yeah, when you come into an obstruction, start paddling backwards to slow yourself down. Now the other trick, tight it as tight as you can, like no play. Oh, there's some depth there. It'd be sweet to get one. Feel like I'm fishing out of a boat, like because you got a four rod spread going off the back. <laughs> You're sitting with your buddy. You know? Planer boards on the outside. Right. I like it. That fish hit so hard I couldn't hardly get the rod out of the holder. Was it about 20 something like that? Probably 20 to 30. He fought like he was 40. Oh, there's a nibble. Pull it down, buddy. Oh. Slow? Flathead? Gar? <laughs> I can't tell. He's not... Doesn't look like he's just toting it around. Now it does. <laughs> Small flathead? This seat's a lot more comfortable in the high position. Yes. Your butt doesn't fall asleep as quick. For better or worse, this kayak's always in the high position. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like this little uh, platform thing. I'm a pretty big fan of this thing. Like, you, you know, you can get a big water kayak and all it does is big water stuff. This, I can take it on giant river giant lake and it handles great and then strip all that stuff off of it and take it to a little creek now it's not one that i'd want to lug up and down the bank if there's no boat ramp but if there's easy access it's wonderful just pull it down i'm just gonna say you're bad luck can't be me and where I picked the fish. It's got to be you being bad luck. I've been called a lot worse than bad luck before. <laughs> Knowing the life you've lived, I believe that. 
That's almost a compliment, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, Chris is a retired DEA agent, and I would imagine when people get arrested, they don't like it very much and possibly could say mean things. I wasn't real popular with the people who put handcuffs on. Right. We're only going to give it a few more minutes. This gar can figure his stuff out or get out. Get, just on line too. get out of Dodge. I think that's one of the more frustrating parts about gars. They off like the big ones at, for a brief moment. You're like, is that a gar or a flathead? <laughs> I'm over it, buddy. <laughs> See what this looks like. Yeah. He got his money's worth. No free meals. Ah! Let the raccoons have it. You said there was a whole bunch of raccoons screaming at each other? Oh yeah, there's like 10 of them over there just chirping. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I emerged out of my tent, they really freaked out. There's lots of truths in this world and one of them is if it's a nice day no matter what direction the river flows the wind's going to be right in your face pretty small problem in the grand scheme of things but it does slow you down quite a bit thankfully this river's got a little bit of current chris hooked him a pretty nice one looked up and saw and pulled the fishing rod out of the hole there and his rod tip was just buried pretty good. And he's duking it out. It's got a big old tail on it. We're paddling down there to get a little bit better look. Couldn't tell if it was a blue or a flathead and if it's a channel, it's the biggest channel cat possibly in this zip code. It's a nice fish. If I had to bet, I'm betting it's a blue. That's a nice one, bud. Yeah, they fight mean down here. Isn't it funny how that works out? I had literally reeled in one rod to move and I looked up and you're duking it out with that one. Oh shoot, he's really nice. That's what I would guess too. And look at this thing. I'll get you some nice pictures too. What was he in like two feet of water? It's right straight out there. I don't know how deep it is. You got pliers inside you too, if you decide you need it. Heck yeah, dude. That's a nice one. Did he just roast it? Oh man, I mean, he took off. Yep. He on drag. Yep. That's the best thing. Just a weird spot. I mean, not a spot I would think you'd get one, but. I just thought timber, a bend, whatever. Hold them. Right there, and then we'll go sideways. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh. Yeah, you're sitting in water. Yeah, there's five foot of water here. Oh boy. Well, good, I'm glad you got one. Me too. Now I'll fish wherever I want and not feel bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
That fish that Chris just caught is probably going to slow it's going to slow me down. This is a shallow river. That fish bit in like two and a half, three feet of water. So knowing that they'll move up into places like that, there's a lot of places like that on this river. So I don't know if every one of them's got fish, but I'm going to fish a few extra spots that I wouldn't have otherwise. And probably I am right now. But that's going to slow us down getting to our camp spot. I'm trying not to get too excited about our camp spot. I think it's got a lot of potential, but we will see. Still dealing with the full moon, so I'll take it all with a grain of salt. You got a bite, but it's hanging over a branch. I don't know what it is. I mean, that'd be the kind of spot for a flathead, and it's kind of biting like a flathead. Kind of biting like a gar. He's on there for the moment. He's in the log. Come out of there, buddy. He's gonna hang on, and hopefully he'll work his own way out. Oh, he's on top. Might have to go down to him, but. Is he in it? Is he under it? Something popped. Possibly for the worse. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is a flathead. Okay, I'm gonna try to reel this one in. And we're gonna go after him. I feel like I've played this game here before. Definitely positioning on different parts of the log. But there's not a direct connection yet. Well, I don't want to jinx anything, but he's moved. We've gained a little line. We have other logs to worry about too, don't you worry. The way I had to hook him, I'm not super confident in how well he's hooked. Well, we found a new log. Those are shallower, so we're going after him now. I should have known from the beginning. I see the sinker. I see the fish. You are what I thought you were. <laughs> now we got to get to the bank. Okay. Put you there. Don't rip my rattle, though. Okay. Okay. Definitely got lucky on him. Well, he ain't in here yet, so there is that. Okay. Alright, bud. 
tangled and no, he came off of that one too. Come here, bud. Try not hook great. Okay. Come here. You get four fingers in there. We got you. A little chunky, bud. <laughs> he pulled it down slow. He's kind of lethargic. Thought kind of lethargic. I didn't put a lot of pressure on him because I kind of. I mean, you don't always get lucky, but it's the best way I found to get them out of snags is to kind of let them work themselves out. He kind of smells bad, but I'll get over it because he's a dandy. <laughs> That, oh, he smells bad because he's pooped everywhere. Seems to be a running theme. Fish really, I mean, they must be comfortable in the kayak if they're gonna take a poop like that. Uh, happy to have seen this bud. Fishing rod figured out. I took a little picture. Back in the water, bud. You're the fish I always hope for, buddy. He's got some really cool modeling. I wonder what he's living in down there. I mean, I think he's living in a log, but lots of times when they're in a log, they don't have that like brown, black coloration like that one had. Sweet. Full moon didn't have me very optimistic for flatheads, so I feel pretty fortunate. That was kind of a roller coaster. I'm gonna hit this spot down here and then I've gotta get back to focusing on paddling. Thankfully there was a lot of deadish looking water, so I didn't feel too bad about paddling through most of it. But we're getting there. We're slightly behind schedule, not completely, but slightly. Nothing but nibbles here, and I really should get to paddling. I probably sound like a broken record, but got a ways to go to get to where I want to camp at. And uh, there's probably have time to fish a few more spots, but I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I mean, this trip's going. I mean, it's my favorite kind of trip. You know, you don't have to catch a pile of fish, but the fish you catch are really nice, and that's more my style. And hopefully, you enjoy that too, because I I love the crap out of it. Now I have a gross image in my head. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.